I said it in the beginning, this American dream turned into an American nightmare. As a U.S. citizen, I don't feel safe because, you know, my husband's the target, and if he's the target, I'm a target as well. The last time my husband had checked in um, was March 9th, and they took him. Um, so it is nerve wracking. Um, he does have a stay of removal, um, in place where he won't be deported while his case is pending. The Board of Immigration Appeals granted that. I'm a co-chair for the New Sanctuary Coalition and I also volunteer. I started going there and meeting other people that were involved in, you know, the same situation. So it was almost like counseling for me, like this, you know, how you would have, my friend calls it IA, Immigration Anonymous. <laughs> um, it made me feel comfortable and a little bit more um, safe. My husband was one out of 2059 picked up within that week of March 2015. They came, came into our home and said, um, we have a warrant for your arrest. And my husband's like, can I see the warrant? They had no warrant. Um, they actually had like, it, what it looked like was an eight and a half by 11 paper um, folded with just his, his picture. They asked him to remove his wedding band, took off his wedding band, they asked me to give him $20. Um, because he'll be home at the end of the day. He called me from his cell phone and he said, um, I'm not coming home. I rushed and got my citizenship because if I'm going to fight to get my husband home, I have to make sure that I'm okay. But sitting there towards the end and receiving my certificate and everything and just hearing them talk about the rights of a U.S. citizen, I'm like, my husband, in my eyes, my husband's been a citizen longer than I have. He came to the United States with his green card. I entered as a visitor. The day that my husband was taken in for the second time, March 9th, um, immediately we call for a vigil. So every Thursdays, um, we have a vigil at 21 Varick Street. It's just, we basically, we walk around, um, we have like a minister there, and then we'll stop, we'll say a prayer, and we'll call out some names of friends that, that are in detention. Just a prayer to basically ask for our friends to be released, to be home with their family members. Sherwin! Sherwin! Antonio! Antonio! I, I seeked out to the media before, and they basically shut me down multiple times saying that, you know, he has a criminal conviction, we really can't do anything for you. And this is during the Obama administration, and after the Trump administration, I got a lot, like, a lot reached out to me to help me, and I kind of backed off because I said, when you need, when I needed you, no one was there. So right now I need to focus on the way I had to do it during the, the other administration. So this is what I have to apply. Yeah, it, 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 it was, it was, it just needs to be out there. It needs to be out there that people are hurting from this. Terribly. I ended up standing and waiting at that subway station and I saw him coming down and I saw a man like with a hood and I just saw like him holding his pants up 
because he didn't have his belt on and I knew that was him. I didn't have to see his face. I knew that was him. And he's like, how did you know I was coming home? I was like, I was waiting for you. So. This is very good. Yep. Yes, next check-in check in is May 24th. May 24th. No ankle bracelets. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nothing. 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 The governor tomorrow. must have sent them the video. <laughs> you know, I always say that everyone has a job. Um, you know, the officers, that's their job. That's how they provide for their family. Whether we like it or not, that's how they provide for their family. But, you know, my job is to be the wife through thick and thin, and I'm going to do that. And that's what I chose to do. And as an advocate, I, I, want, to, I want to bring that positivity and that positive voice, not, not um, making anyone feel like because you're in detention, we're not here. While we're doing our work for ourselves, we want to step in and help you as well.